what are the network charges how much do you expect to pay when you are transferring your crypto from one exchange to another exchange or from one exchange to another wallet what are going to be the btc network charges what are the ethereum network charges and most importantly how to do the transfer assalamu alaikum this is arfan aftab and welcome to manha mentor let's get started All right, guys. My Rain account is already open, and I'll be doing the live transaction from Rain Exchange account to Binance Exchange account. You can see over here the amount of balance for Bitcoin and Ethereum I have. Open transfer funds and click on Send Crypto. Type over here the amount of Bitcoin you want to transfer. I'll be transferring all the amount to Binance. Uncheck the process transaction instantly because that's going to charge you a higher fees. And there are some helpful hints over here. just go through them you can pause the video and read it it normally mentions that it can take between 1 to 2 hours sometimes it even takes more time so pause it and take your time and read it okay open your fiat and spot wallet on binance why you need to open that you need to have the wallet address to which you want to transfer from ring if you are transferring bitcoin you have to get the bitcoin wallet address make sure it's the correct coin now we come to the network so there are two networks over here which are available which is one is btc and the other is segwit btc btc is the legacy network segwit btc is cheaper comparatively to the btc network and both are interchangeable you can either send to btc or the segwit so copy this address btc basically have three type of network one is legacy btc and the other one is segwit btc and the, and the third one is native segwit the legacy btc is the most expensive then comes the segwit which most of exchanges does have and third one is native segwit which is the cheapest of all over here it's clearly written it is segwit or btc but how will you know exactly and sometime it's written segwit but actually it's a legacy sometime it's written segwit but it is a native segwit so you should know how to find out which one is the correct address i will just go through it fast you can take your time pause it read it and understand it if the address starts with 1 it's a legacy btc address if the address starts with bc1 that's a native segwit and if the address starts with 3 that's a segwit address so hopefully that's clear you can pause the video here and read through this now i'll be sharing with you a tricky thing you can see over here it's a bc1 address and it's written it's segwit btc but in reality it's not a segwit btc it is a native segwit btc which mean it is the cheapest of all for transferring into binance but when you want to transfer from binance to another exchange it's completely a different story but if that exchange does not have a native segwit address then you will be paying a higher fees so copy this address and paste it over here make sure that your first letters and your last letters are correct just double check it because if you send it to wrong address you can't retrieve it back and it's a good practice for newcomers to send a small amount initially if you are having a big amount and once the demo amount is going correctly to the new address which you wanted to send to then you can send the full amount make sure the box is not clicked because that will charge you a higher fees because you are asking it to send it instantly which the, of course the fees will be higher as i have already mentioned you it is a native segwit address of binance so you will be surprised to know the fees all right look at the fees guys network fee 0.000 i told you and there are some helpful hints on the right side on my right yeah on my right side just pause it read it and once i press on continue it will give me a second factor authentication sms on my mobile just type it and submit and now you have to wait with patience half an hour to 2 hours or sometime it can take even more time so in the meantime we will transfer ethereum also from my brain exchange to binance exchange and you will know how to do the ethereum because you are not going to use the same network what we use for btc because ethereum has erc20 network so change the coin to eth choose the erc20 network click on send cryptocurrency withdraw from eth not from bitcoin 
so just type it 0.014 blah 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 and i need the address to where i want to transfer so i will go back to binance copy the address of it and paste it over here and again as i have mentioned you first digits and last digits double check if it's a big amount send a small amount and check it out if it goes through then you send the whole amount there is a network fees i have to pay well normally you have to pay a lot of fees for eth for erc20 network especially when the network is congested the fees are damn high put the second factor authentication from the sms and press submit and the same scenario goes on wait be patient and now i'll give you a special tip how to know whether it has reached to the specific address you can click on ETH RBTC and see the transaction status whether it's pending or it has been completed it's still pending so i will fast forward my video all right gents the deposit has been received successfully for BTC and for ETH and you can see the status back in RAIN exchange click on BTC the last transaction has been completed copy this address and go on blockchain.com slash explorer now watch this very carefully paste your address over here and press enter since it's an open ledger these networks are open ledger anybody can see the transaction the amount from which wallet to which wallet it has received and you can see the status over here confirm not for only for this typical transaction any transactions throughout the whole world throughout the whole network so the important point is you might be thinking you can see over there on the rain exchange whether it has been completed but what if it shows over there your transaction has been completed but you have not received in binance in your account just go on blockchain.com slash explorer and see if the transaction is completed then probably you have sent it to the wrong address and and you get your lesson all right let's go back to the eth same process again Open your ETH account, press on send, copy the address and paste it in blockchain.com slash explorer. Press on internal, open the hash rate and see the status is confirmed. I hope this information was very useful and you get to know about different type of charges for different type of currencies. And to watch this video, the charge you have to pay is to smash the like button and consider subscribing the channel and hit that bell icon so that you will receive notification of all the latest videos as soon as they're published on the channel. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.